So today is a variator day. First time I've ever taken off a variator, uh, inspected it, cleaned it, uh, maybe even updated it and put it back on again. Now, I went out and bought a Polini high speed variator only to be told that very likely there's one in here already. Um, so I might not need this, in which case it'll be up on Amazon very, um, on eBay very shortly. What I am going to fit though is Dr. Pulley 5 gram sliders, which are recommended by just about everyone. I think this is going to be pretty filthy in here. I've had the crankcase cover off once before and it was black, but I've never removed a variator, so this is a first for me. So, stage one, we're going to remove all the bolts and take the cover off. Back shortly. Right, so seven of these, one of these, and off comes the crankcase cover. Here we have clutch and variator. Now, somebody looking at this just on a video I'd said said this was actually a Polini high speed variator. But what I'm going to do is take it out by removing this nut here, uh, give it a clean up, and see what's actually in there. So we're going to try and remove this nut which is on very tight with a homemade variator tool, cost it nothing, and socket set. So we'll see how we get on. Just need to get that nut off there and we're home and dry hopefully. Well the homemade variator tool socket and a bit of brute force and we have one bolt one washer one kickstart bracket there we go one kickstart bracket there just putting these so I can see where they go later and then should just be a question. Taking that off, and there we are. Pinched it. Get it off. And so we try and avoid bits falling everywhere, which I don't think I have because I can feel them going. Radiator off. And what we've actually got here are round. Uh, let's have a look at these, see. Not bad condition. But we're going to replace them with sliders, which are different because they get supposedly. A uh, faster takeoff, which would be good. The roll is in reasonable shape, a little touch flat in places, but not bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now is clear all this up, clean all the gunk out of there, and then I think this is. This looks all right. So I think we'll just put this back as is. There's no point in wasting money. I don't have to, and. Uh, We'll see how it's on. Okay, so I've got all the dust and debris, or as much as I can, out of the crankcase. Now, I was going to reuse this variator, but if I can find the piece, this has got a ridge on it here. It's not as smooth as the new one. There's a slight ridge there. And there's also a slight ridge here, and I wonder if that's the rollers just not quite pushing the belt as far as it can. I don't know. But anyway, somewhere I read ridges were not good. So as soon as I've got the new one, I might as well fit it. So that is it now. The Dr. Pulley sliders, as opposed to rollers, are in place, and I'm pretty sure the right way up. 
I hope I don't post this later and I get scores of messages saying you've got those the wrong way up, but I think they're right. So what I'm going to do is we need to put the new sliders on here, fit that back on. Boss, oh I've got a new one actually, I suppose I could use that, and then start putting it back on. Okay, that's the that's it back on. No sign of any bits dropping at the back. A good tip is to pinch the belt, gives you a bit more slack to get it around the boss. Next on was this piece. Followed by kickstart washer, kickstart um, uh, whatever you call it, bracket washer, and then screw. Now one of the tips was to, as you put this on, keep turning it as you don't, so you don't pinch the belt. So I'm just going to see how that works, and we'll try and get this back on again. Okay, that's back on and turning nicely, so we're not trapping the belt at all, which is apparently a, a beginner's mistake I seem to have avoided. So what we're now going to do is put the, the clamp back on and use the torque wrench, which for the variator is 32.54, I think it's Newton meters, so we'll set to that. Gonna tighten this up now, and that should, with a bit of luck, be job done.